Okay, so now that we are done, we need to make it even more cuter by displaying it properly. So I'm going to take this out of my no slip hoop, which you can reuse for many more projects to come. This is the strongest hoop on the market and the only one I recommend for uh, punch needle. Um, then I'm going to grab just a regular uh, embroidery hoop. And then this cutie pie, which is like a display box that you can hang like this. So I'm going to put this away for a second. And we're going to put this in this hoop. Okay, I'm going to tighten this more so it doesn't keep slipping. So what we're going to do, you need Elmer's glue. All right, so what you need to do now is put glue along this inner rim. Doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it's there, that's all you need. And now I'm going to grab these magic clips and I'm going to fold the fabric over the edge and you can push the outer ring so it, the edge meets the inner and you're just gonna put a clip on there so do this all around once this is done you're going to leave it for, I would give it a good, good four hours. I usually leave mine overnight, but you know, I think four hours will do. Even that might be too much, honestly, because Elmer's glow dries pretty quickly. So, All right, home stretch. Oh, I've got some yarn here that flew over from my tufting project. <laughs> okay, we're going to take all of these off. Take this off. And cut the fabric. About this much, just be careful not to cut into your work. Okay, now we take our display box. This is the top here, so we want to make sure that this is centered. Okay, and all you need to do is put some hot glue on four points on the hoop and then glue it to this. That's it. You're done.